Pal Cal spot a suspicious looking car while on patrol in Oxford and decide to give it a tug. This is something might be worth uh, a bit of a pull. The two often work on instincts and they both have a feeling something doesn't quite add up with the driver and his car. To begin with, it all seems fairly routine. Cal questions the driver whilst Pat gets details from the passenger to see if the stories match. It's now time to check the details. The police have a direct line to DVLA, the Driving Licence Authority, which lists everyone who's ever applied for a licence. Surname is yeah, White. Thank you. White with the hotels in the Tango Echo. First name Timothy. This is White. Pat's pretty certain the driver's given a false name, but what story will he come up with? No trace of the video, I don't know. It's the first check of you, and the details you've given me, and they've got a record of you on your driving license. So, I'm not asking the details you've given me. I think you've got a number, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Right, there's Timothy White, 0403 Yeah. And why they tell me you haven't? What? Got a driving license. What the heck? Okay. Something's definitely not right, but Pat decides to give the driver one more chance to come clean. So I'll tell you what we'll do, right? We'll, we'll cut you a bit of slack, right? We'll, give you, we'll do a deal, right? We'll cut you a bit of slack, okay? If you're anything you say you are, okay, then you're going to get arrested and taken into the police station and charged with obstruction and find out who you are. If you actually tell us who you are now, if you're not that person, listen, 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 if you actually want to change your mind as who you are now, then you won't get done for the obstruction, which is quite a serious offence. I and mean, you don't want that, we don't want that. I, 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 I don't know what else to do with you. Know? So what we need to do, we need to bottom out who you are, mate, really. So, okay. so we're cutting you a bit of slack, so do the same for us, yeah? So Carl starts with the easy questions. What's the pair of his name? Mr. White. Yeah, what's the pair of his name? Chris White and Jim White. You know that word? Well, my dad works at Grover. My mum works in Oops in town. Your middle name? Huh? So when did you take your test and where? September. Where? September in DVLA in um, Holloway. On Holloway, that's where I took my test in September. So far, so good. But it's the simple details that get you in the end. And where were you living when you took the test? Um, I had my own on my mum's. Carlton? Yeah. What's the postcode there? O X four. Hmm. So what about the people he knows best? What's the girlfriend's name? Michelle. Michelle what? You live with her, don't you have a surname? Struggling with the truth now, the driver makes one final effort to persuade them as Timothy White. Come on, Charles. Come on. Well, I haven't got a driving license. I will, mate. I haven't got a driving license. That's the problem, mate, because you've strung us along. We need, we really need to know you are who you are, so come on. Come on, come on. Come on, you know, you know, you know, you want to, you know, you want to tell us. You know, you want to tell us, come on. Who are you? Come on. Right, who? Timmy. Qualified. Maybe I'm a fool, I'm a fool, I'm a fool, I'm a fool, I'm a No license and no insurance. Once again, their instinct has been proved right. That's a chain of chemists, mate. Who? Timothy White. So you're taking over my boots years ago. And then you went and said your mum worked in boots. She does. That's a corker, isn't it? She does. <laughs> Remember, when blagging it, you need to get your story sorted before you start. Postcode there. Postcode there. 